hello hello right today we are doing a very simple salon design for my friend's daughter so this is back to basics and i'm kind of here for it because this is the reality of what people do day to day in the nail industry so welcome if you're new here please uh sit back and enjoy and uh, consider subscribing leave me a comment let me know where you are watching from i absolutely love to know who i'm reaching where where are we so let me know where you're from even if you've been listening for ages or watching for ages let me know where you're from because i'm really curious to just know like who i'm connecting with anyway let's get on with the nails doing simple prep now this beautiful young lady had like barely any uh, non-living tissue. There was no kind of like chewed nail, no thick cuticle. There was nothing that needed nipping. I just did a bit of basic prep and I actually didn't even go in with my flame bit. I went just push back the cuticles straight in with this bit, which I can't remember what the name of it is, but the whole kit with the bits in is available on Amazon and I use it every time I prep, every single time. Um, it's very, very gentle. But as you can see, there wasn't an awful lot there. I was literally just doing the basics for sort of safety purposes, just to know, right, I've done this. I know what I've done. I've done it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, my e-file's on a low setting. So I think I had it about 13. And I mean, there really wasn't an awful lot to kind of shift there was no sort of excess sticky non-living tissue. These were like virgin nails. They were smooth. They were soft. <clears throat> they were like baby nails. Um, she has got tiny hands like Chloe as well. So it's like, oh, it's like a Chloe. I've got these baby nails. Right. The tips I've applied are the Glitter Planet tapered tips, the ultra thin. They're so thin you can like fold them. Um, and we were just talking about length. I wanted her to sort of show me how long do you want them. So I trimmed them down and then I cut the sides to give them more of a coffin taper sort of look. And now I'm just refining that with my file, um, especially in sort of salon work. I think there's a couple of things you can do to save time. It depends on how you work. Like I've got a lot of product, a lot of product. So I tend to want to know, <clears throat> and part of this is just me being neurodivergent as well, I need to know before people arrive what, what they're considering having. Because people don't usually, um, or when I was doing this full time, they didn't. people didn't come to me for normal nails. Nobody came to me, very rarely anyway, for a basic set of nails. It was always something slightly different. So it might be that I haven't done that thing for a while, like a freehand thing, and I need to practice it. So I, because of the way my brain is, I like to know in advance, what are you going to want? And so am I setting up for gel or am I setting up for acrylic? Am I setting up for coloured acrylic or am I setting up for gel polish on top of acrylic? Um, I like to know all that. It saves me time because when they arrive, I can then have everything ready that I think they will need. Um, the only thing that held us back a bit was finding the right purple because she wanted purple nails with a black outline, like a micro French. And she wanted a specific shade of purple. And uh, I didn't know until she got here exactly what shade it was. So that's the only thing. And then also just have all your tools laid out in order. So I literally prepped the nails, buffed over the nail surface. I don't think I showed that on camera. And then I'm straight in with the Nail Mate Clear Acrylic. And I'm using, obviously, the Nail Mate system. And I'm just doing a full acrylic on each nail. Teddy, will you stop jumping? My puppy is just begging for attention. Every time I do a voiceover, he's like, me, 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 me. He was actually beautifully behaved. And I got compliments on how gentle and just, he just sort of sits and puts his head against people. And like, he doesn't jump or go mad. It's very nice. It was, I was quite proud. <laughs> it's like being proud of a child. Um... So they're going on holiday, which is why they're having the nails done. So I've got her sister coming in today or tomorrow. We're still waiting for confirmation. Teddy, will you stop he's chewing my arm? Hang on, I'm going to let him out. Well, that failed because he's just following me everywhere I go. Okay, so oh, it's because he wants to go out. All right, in a minute, darling. He's brought his harness. He's adorable. Um, so yes, applying my bead. I'm going to do normally like a two bead on these. 
I did try and do it with one bead. Um, but to be honest, I was just sort of chatting so much that I end up dragging most of the acrylic down to the wrong part of the nail. And that's just truth. And that's another thing. I would work better. Um, and I don't know if any of you experience this, if it was a silent service with just a bit of music in the background. Because when I talk, I lose track of what I'm doing. When I have conversations, I engage and I'm really listening to the person. And then I... I lose track of what I'm doing. I always admired like hairdressers when they're doing your hair and they're chatting, but I don't think they're listening. Like when you look at them, they're focusing on what they're doing. How do they switch that part of their brain off? Because I fully engage in the conversation and I get slower and slower. And before you know it, I've spent two and a half hours on a basic set of nails that should take me like one and a half hours because I'm breaking, I'm listening to what they're saying. If they say something, I go, oh, and I'll stop and be like, oh, you didn't. Oh, gosh, what happened? So, like, I think sometimes talking during a nail service can be part of what slows it down. Um, and I, I don't obviously do it full time now. So I've lost my skill of, like, disengaging. I used to be quite, quite good at it. I'm not anymore. I'm, like, fully engaged. Um, <laughs> so it did take longer than expected. But, you know, Um and yeah, I did confirm afterwards that I was in complete agony and it's not something I can do regularly. This week's going to absolutely destroy me because I've got a couple more to do. Um, and it's just like, it's just friends. They just happen to be like, oh, please, would you do? And of course I will. I'd love to. I want to. I want nothing more than to do nails. But I sort of take on more than my body can handle. But it's OK. It's all right. Your content will be salon designs this week and part of next week and I hope you're okay with that then we'll get back to some crazy shit <laughs> but yeah just simple clear acrylic on each nail it feels weird doing this it actually feels weird doing clear acrylic on each nail um I do it for Abby now as well or she has a nude underneath because she likes um different styles of design but if it's just someone coming in and, and, you know, I don't know if I'll see them again, I probably won't because it's not like a regular thing. Then, um, yeah, just clear acrylic. I must say, I'm, I've got back into the nail mate system as if I'd never been away from it. Like, it's easy to use. It's got the perfect setting time. It's not too fast and not too slow. So it, it works with me. I have used systems in the past where... Um, I feel like I'm either waiting for it to set and I'm like, come on, or it's setting up too fast and I can't get it where I need it in the right time and then it's stressful. So I've sort of fallen straight back in love with this set. I have been using the uh, colours and stuff for a while and the nudes, and, but now I'm just using it as my entire kind of set. Um, and yeah, I've definitely fallen back in love with it. Um and I will put the link. I didn't realise I had a 10% discount code. I didn't know that. So um, I've put it in the description box. Um, I thought I had a 5% discount code. I don't know. Anyway, Lorna messaged me well, and gave me a, a discount code for you guys. So I will put that in the description box. As a lot of the stuff I use is Glitter Planet. Um, my dotting tools that I've had for donkey's years, Glitter Planet. Uh, stuff like that. Just simple things. My bit that I net a drill bit that I use to remove all nails glitter planet had it donkey's years um I've just talked through this and I'll be quite frankly honest with you I don't know what I've said <coughs> I've got blurb brain right let's file these into shape now they've set up it's a coffin now so I'm going to do side wall side wall free edge cuticle body of the nail um I just have the same filing routine, but I will go back and forth. So I might do side wall, side wall, free edge, and then look at something and go, hang on a minute. I need to go back and do a bit more side wall. I've done it here. <laughs> so it's just the way I work. But then I'll do cuticle, tuck in that file in. I need, I really, really need recommendations. I might ask uh, Lorna if they, they probably, she probably does one, but I want a recommendation. Um, a bit that I can use to smooth the cuticle area because I always do it by hand but it's more work on my joints if I'm filing by hand that's always more work on my joints so 
if there's a bit a e-file bit that I can use to smooth the cuticle nicely um, that will kind of work with hard gel and acrylic or I might need two different bits depending on their composition I would really like recommendations for that please um, because it would save my hands some work and for smoothing the nail I mean I sometimes use a sanding band to smooth the nail um, it depends on how I'm feeling but see I'm talking I've stopped that's me talking that's the thing. I've cut out so many bits of this. That's what holds you back on your times is chatting. I've got to learn not to chat. I'm trying to be quiet. And then people will think I'm moody. They'll be like, I'm not going to her. She's the right moody cow bag. <laughs> anyway, I've got, <laughs> I'm getting the shape down. So if I change one thing, so when I do sidewall, sidewall, free edge, then I do cuticle, then I do the body of the nail. I'm touching it. When I'm touching it like that, it's not me giving them a loving stroke. It's me feeling the nail. Can I feel anything? Is there anything? And it's just a subtle little stroke over with my thumb because then I can feel if there's anything lumpy bumpy that I don't like the feel of. This colour is life. She said to me, so obviously I've filed all the nails, got rid of all the dust, wiped over. She said, I want Cadbury purple. If you're in England, you know what I mean, Cadbury's chocolate. So I got a picture of Cadbury's purple. I went up to my Madame Glam uh, room and I found this stunning colour and it's called Witch's Night. And I actually said to her, this is very witchy, but you're very witchy. She's got the purple hair that matches this colour. You know, she's got beautiful, beautiful facial piercings and this tiny little toadstool on a nose ring that matches my toadstool wax burner. It was just like, oh, meant to be. So this purple is life. Um, my only thing with it is that the black that I put on doesn't show up very well on camera, but it does show up with the naked eye. Uh, it just doesn't show up as well on camera, unfortunately. So yes, I'm doing, as always, cuticle and side, et, side wall area just with the detailer brush, just to ensure it's a very dark colour. Don't want lots of staining. Um, Teddy? No, not now. Oh, you're adorable and I love you. He's so cute. Picture's coming because you need to see him. Um, this is, I think this particular gel is one of the older ones and it uh, is a 30 second cure in the lamp. Witch's Night. It's probably the nicest purple I've got actually, I think. Um, in my Madame Glam cave. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous. And then once I've done that, I will do one nail at a time. So I'll switch. So I'll do like the pinky on one hand, put it in the light. Pinky on the other hand, put it in the light. Pinky on the other hand, put it in the light. So there's one cure in whilst I'm painting the other one. And it just works perfectly. I then went in with a layer of velvet matte top coat just on sort of the bottom part of the nail. I didn't worry too much about the cuticle area because I just want to be able to paint on top of it. So I'm going in with the black gel paint from Madame Glam and there what brush did I use hang on I will tell you what brush I used it is long fine liner is it oh no it might not be actually I think for this one I'm using uh the paint it 15 mil brush by beautiful nails by Jess but I don't think her website is live anymore um so that's what I'm using for these longer parts. And then after this, uh, my phone died as well, which was very frustrating. So I did paint uh, a little moon on each ring finger, which why, why are moons hard to paint? Why is that? I don't know why I find them so hard, but I always do I find them really tricky to paint. I don't understand it. Here you are, Teddy. I'm just going to get the dog something. There you are, darling. Then you can stop chomping on my arm. I oh, don't want it. Does anyone else have a dog that boops something away with its nose if it doesn't want it? So if you give it something and it doesn't want it, it'll just boop it as if to go, no, I don't want that. Oh, I've given him his harness now. Yeah, you, I know you want to go for a walk. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet. Oh, it is actually. So there we go. I'm just going to finish that. And then we will, we actually cut to the end, I think, because my phone died, which is very, very frustrating. 
but it's it's one of those things and as you can see it is hard to see the black show up on camera you can just about see it but I just think that's to do with exposure and camera quality and I'm sure if I had some amazing like 8k thing it would show up a lot better but it's this is just a micro French but what I tend to because obviously clients don't know what a micro French is so what when they say I want the tip they she said I want the tip black I said, okay, do you want, and I draw things out, do you want it like this? And I'll draw a classic French, or do you want this? And it was a micro French that she wanted. This is the finished set. I think they're beautiful, totally witchy and absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!